Setting design rules to control the spacing between objects on the PCB is a vital part of board layout. Proteus includes complete support for the design rules that apply to the entire board, a single layer on the board, or even a defined region of the board. Electrical rules apply to a net class and can then be restricted to operate on only a single layer. You can choose to apply the rules only with respect to other net classes and even filter only to apply inside a particular region. The Design Rules dialog shows us which rules are in place and also lets us set up or edit rules. The left hand side allows us to select an area and the right hand side shows us the rules in force over that entire area. We start with a single rule that applies to the entire board. When we select a layer on the left, Note that the default rule is still in force, but it is drawn in a different colour. This is to show that it applies to the layer that has been created at a higher level of the design or hierarchy. In our case, the default rule has been created at the level of the entire board. You'll find detailed information about the design rule hierarchy in the online reference manual. To create a new rule, we need to provide a name, a physical scope for the rule, and an electrical scope for the rule. We can then set clearances as required. Notice now that the default rule does not apply on this layer because it has been overridden by a more specific layer rule. You can easily have multiple rules that apply in one area. For example, we might set up a rule that is only applied to the power net class on the layer. This would result in two rules being enforced, one which apply to the power tracks and pads, and the other which apply to everything else on the layer. Often you want to set different design rules in an area of the PCB. With Proteus you can do this by selecting the room tool and drawing out the area that needs special attention. You then provide a name for the rule and a layer range that it applies to. In our case, we want to fan out from a big FBGA, so we'll draw a room and set the range to include enough layers for us to escape all of the signals. Now, when we go back to the Design Rule Manager, the rooms appear in the Region tree on the left, and we can see that they currently inherit their rules from various layer rules. We can create a specific rule for the room in the usual way, and set clearances as required. Note that it's possible to set edge clearances to zero, which will disable it entirely. This is useful for slots near pads, or for edge connector rooms. The room rule does not appear on the layer display because it is not in force across the entire layer. This is why it occupies a third level in the region hierarchy on the left hand side. In addition to the normal clearances, there is global clearances on the defaults tab, which is the minimum gap between solder mask and copper. This is set to a default value of 1 thou, but can be changed here if your board manufacturer recommends a different clearance. Once design rules have been set up, Proteus will honour them during placement and routing operations. In particular, the manual routing system will obey changing clearances as you row into and out of rooms on the board. When a design rule violation occurs, it will be shown in the live display window. You can double click to zoom in on the error and the area of violation will be highlighted, allowing you to easily see and correct the problem. When design rule rooms are on the board, the violation errors are really helpful to understand which rules are being applied. If any part of the violation area is inside a room, then the room rules will be applied before the layer rule. In either case, the live DRC window will tell you on the left hand column which rule is responsible for the error condition and the columns on the right hand side will show you the expected and actual clearances. <laughs>